Well, hello glue troopers, Max and Max's models here. And I had a cunning plan, but it was defeated by fate because fate gets us all. The great Styrene River was diverted. So I uh, have a 6.30 show time for 7.30 flight up to New York. And uh, I always show up because I have a couple hours drive to get down here. I always show up real early. And I get to Orlando, stop to top off the fuel and in, in the car and check my uh, messages and everything. And sure enough, my flight's been pushed back to after 10 p.m. with a 1 a.m. showtime. Wunderbar. The trickle down effect of that is tomorrow's flying has been canceled. That means I, one, don't get to stay in the cool TWA hotel. They're putting me in the long stay hotel, the other hotel. And I'm going to be sitting there all day tomorrow. And I didn't bring a road build because I wasn't going to have time to do one. And I can't bring models with me. My bag is so tightly packed. I can't bring models unless I know I'm going to have time to work on them. And then I thought, haha, I have a cunning plan. Since I now have six hours to kill instead of four, or actually three, I could run by a Hobby Lobby or Colonial Hobbies or someplace pick up a kit, some glue, find a nice quiet place to go do a real quick road build, pre-departure road build. Ah, but it's Sunday afternoon and they're all closed. The only one that's still open is 21 miles away and will close before I can get there. And I'm like, great. Six hours to kill in Orlando and I still have to be at the airport in an hour to check in, so I can't stray too far. I did momentarily entertain the thought of contacting one of the Orlando-based glue troopers and hanging out, but it's Sunday afternoon, they're with their families. I don't want to, you know, crash their Sunday afternoon. I'm sure they have things going on. But it brought up an idea. Hmm. I keep basic roadside supplies in the car, as many of us do, uh, uh, you know, drinking water, uh, a radiator and tire repair kit, jumper cables, uh, some emergency snacks, you know, in case you get break down the middle of the night. What if I was to leave an emergency road build model in the car with a little glue and a few tools? Hmm? That way when something like this happens, which when you have afternoon shows is becoming ever more frequent in the summertime because of all the weather and everything, I would have a model I could scamper off and build somewhere. Hmm, not a bad idea. I mean, I also keep uh, spare uh, uniform stuff here in the car, you know, extra socks and things like that in case something happens, a spare belt and tie. One time I, I ran off to work, I forgot my belt. So I had to run down to Walmart and buy one. I said, why not? I've got several old belts. So I leave like an old belt and an old tie, uh, an old necktie and a few other things in the car. So if somehow I run off to work and I forget one. I even used to keep an old spare pair of shoes in here because one day I came in my tennis shoes and like, oh, heck, forgot to put on my uniform shoes. So again, off to Walmart to buy an old cheapo set of shoes. Uh, but the point being that why not carry a spare model in the car? I mean, what the heck? Got 300 of them on the shelf. So uh, that's a thought. Uh, with everything going on, I came over here to uh, the uh, uh, Orlando Airport Lake Park. And unfortunately, that it's a Sunday, so everybody's out here, all the families are out here playing soccer and stuff. So I could only find one bench to sit on. And I don't know what that yellow table is for, but I'm not chancing it. So I just said, hey, I'll sit in the air conditioning in the car and figure out what I want to do because I have, <laughs> oh gosh, so much time to kill. Um, on the upside, at least at seven o'clock when it's time for dinner, I can sit down in a real restaurant and enjoy a real dinner. So eh, there's that, you know, but I lost both of my TWA hotel overnight. So no Connie for me tonight or tomorrow night. And I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do all day in New York tomorrow, which, uh, I mean, it's New York. I can find something, but that hotel's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Then again, I have wanted to go to that Cradle of Aviation Museum. That's a thought, but... There's also always the possibility they might call you, hey, we found a flight for you, you know, and like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up here in uh, Beth Page, but uh, I'll figure something out. So anyway, <sighs> woe is me. That's how my day's going, but uh, yeah, my last three trips, I don't think anything's <laughs> on schedule, <laughs> but it mostly summertime storms wrecking the uh, traffic has a lot to do with it and uh, just 
it, you know, you get all this heat, you get all the afternoon thunderstorms. They close down the gates of the airport, people run behind, crews start timing out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's like a freight train, you know, you, you pull off one piece of track and the whole thing derails. So, uh, anywho, that's where I'm at. Oh, by the way, uh, so as long as I got you on the line, big thanks to everybody last night who made the live stream. I think somebody said we had 166 at one point. That's got to be a record. Huge shout out to Mike Machat for joining us, uh, to Steve and to Captain Ken um, once he was able to you know, <laughs> make landfall. He's going to get Starlink in that thing, so we'll be doing probably doing live streams from the boat at some point. Uh, sorry, Ken. You've had your week of uh, us going, oh, poor Ken, you know, your boat has problems. Now it's time to start, you know, digging. <laughs> because, you know, friends mock friends. That's what we do. Um, after all, if you can't antagonize your friends, what's the point in having them? So that's where we're at for right now. Uh, I, I haven't, I didn't have a chance to, to get to work on the Douglas World Cruisers uh, today. I just with having to leave midday, I didn't want to you know, get in the project and, and in the middle of it. So what I started doing was working on Viewers Build 42. I've got all the photos in there. I was attaching the music. I didn't have a chance to uh, finish it, though. It's, it's uh, 230 images. Uh, I, I've been a little, with everything going on, I've been a little uh, remiss in keeping up and doing the Viewers Builds. And then, of course, we have the P38 and Corsair build at the end of the month. So uh, keep sending those cards and pictures, kids. If that if the viewers build goes up or heaven forbid the Corsair P3A bill goes up and something that you sent me didn't make it in there it just means my uh, limited administrative skills lost track of it please send it again and with my apologies and that, that's really what I've got for right now so I'll go scamper off someplace and find a way to stay out of trouble for a few hours and you know it's not like the old days where everybody sold kit models you go to a gas station if you're bored buy a model and a tube of glue and go off someplace and build it now you have to go to a, a hobby shop times change sometimes for the better not always well anyway i shall do my old man lament by myself oh for the days of yore uh, okay <laughs> i almost said something but i'm just gonna leave that one in my brain guys take care of yourselves and as always <laughs> model on Ah, it's so much fun being me when I get away with it. <laughs>